Welcome to Brain Booster. Have you ever pondered what time would look like if it were tangible? Fossils are the closest we can get to that. These fascinating artifacts are more than just remnants of the past. They're the preserved remains or traces of ancient organisms. But let's get one thing straight. Fossils are not the remains of the organism itself. They are rocks. They can encapsulate an entire organism or just a fragment of it from minute microfossils like bacteria and pollen only visible under a microscope to gigantic macrofossils like petrified trees or dinosaur bones weighing several tons. The span of time fossils cover is immense, ranging from the Archean Eon, which began almost four billion years ago, to the Holocene Epoch that continues to this day. Fossils therefore serve as a physical record of life on Earth across billions of years. But how do these pieces of time come to be? Let's delve into the intriguing process of fossilization, an extraordinary albeit rare event that encapsulates a moment in ancient history. Imagine the last breath of a dinosaur. As it falls, its body comes to rest on a sandy seafloor or perhaps in a sticky tar pit. This immediate coverage by sediment is crucial, for it is the first step in the fossilization journey. The remains are now encapsulated, hidden away from the world above, beginning a transformation that will span thousands, even millions of years. As eons pass, minerals within the sediment slowly but surely start to seep into the remains. This is no quick process, it's a gradual dance of time and chemistry, transforming the organic into the inorganic, turning bone into stone, creating a fossil. Now, it's important to note that not all ancient organisms are destined to become fossils. The process typically favors hard, bony body parts, such as skeletons, teeth or shells. Soft-bodied organisms, such as worms, are often denied this opportunity for immortality. Their delicate structures simply decompose too quickly, leaving little trace of their existence. However, nature has a knack for breaking its own rules, and in the sticky resin of ancient trees, we find exceptions. This resin, over time, can fossilize into amber, preserving the bodies of many delicate, soft-bodied organisms. Ants, flies, mosquitoes. These tiny creatures, often overlooked in their time, are now frozen in golden eternity, their intricate details impeccably preserved. So from the colossal dinosaur, its bones now stone to the delicate wings of an ancient mosquito encapsulated in amber, we see that fossilization is a process of extraordinary circumstances. It's a rare and complex dance between organism, environment and time, culminating in a tangible link to our planet's fascinating past. So from massive dinosaur bones to the delicate wings of an ancient mosquito, Fossilization is indeed a fascinating process. Now that we know how fossils are formed, how do we find them and what do they tell us? Enter the paleontologists, the intrepid explorers of our planet's ancient past. These scientists scour the globe from the scorching deserts to the dense jungles to unearth remnants of a bygone era. Their discoveries offer us a glimpse into the lives of creatures that once roamed the earth from the smallest microorganisms to the largest dinosaurs. But fossils are not just curiosities of the past. They are snapshots of Earth's history, pieces of a complex puzzle that help us understand how our planet and its life forms have evolved over billions of years. Each fossil, whether it's a fragment of a dinosaur bone or an imprint of an ancient leaf, tells a story about what the world was like when that organism was alive. Take, for instance, the fossils of ancient marine animals called ammonites, discovered in the highest reaches of the Himalayas. These fossils tell us that what are now towering peaks were once the floor of a vast ocean. Or consider the fossils of a giant prehistoric shark known as Megalodon, found in the landlocked state of Utah. This discovery suggests that a large part of North America was once submerged under water. Fossils, then, are not just remnants of the past, but keys that unlock the mysteries of our planet's history. So, we've journeyed from the formation of fossils to their discovery. We've delved into the intricate process of fossilization, highlighting how the preserved remnants of ancient organisms, from microscopic bacteria to colossal dinosaur bones, are transformed into fossils. We've also explored the invaluable role of paleontologists, those dedicated researchers who unearth and study these relics of the past. 
Through fossils, we get to touch, see, and explore the deep history of life on Earth, a privilege that is as humbling as it is enlightening. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.